Hello everybody, welcome back to the Jade Empire walkthrough. We are still in the middle of the uh, Lotus Assassin Fortress and we're clearing everybody out of the hall for some, uh, Oh, I don't know. Some shady business. <laughs> okay, some shady business. We'll leave it at that. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I think, what is it, you can either, maybe is it pay this guy? Uh, and I forget his name. Uh, Kia, Kia Jong or something like that. Um, and you can either, I believe it's either pay him to leave or uh, pass a conversation check. And obviously I went with conversation check because I don't want to spend any more money what than I have to. now, Acolyte? Um, and this, man, this is so much easier if you're going closed fist. You, are right to you can just straight up kill these two. It is a machine you don't even have to, uh, Only errors you don't have to do anything else. Have damaged it before. But, uh, in order to get these Several guys to move, uh, open, open palm, it's not so uh, you need to, to actually properly. get some Phoenix All oil from the crane and occasionally add Phoenix uh, oil Kia Jung there and actually, uh, I actually kind of messed up. Oil it would have been better to... Kia Jung gives it out too well, it, it actually doesn't really matter, that your I kind are only given um, pre-measured containers of it. You have to get the the Phoenix oil. Yeah, it doesn't actually matter. Gong needs to better um, you, train Kia Jung now you is, is located downstairs, basically process. right on the way to the Golem Press Phoenix oil is a viscous liquid that burns at an incredible temperature. It heats heats the press to cure the golem husks. If there's too much in the machine, it burns too hot, too little, and the golems crumble. The merchant brings the oil from the craftsman of the Golden Delta. That is unfortunate, because the needs of an acolyte are of little concern. Our tasks are done for the day, but Grand Inquisitor Gia could request us at any time. We must be ready to respond if the golem press malfunctions. Nothing short of her order or an emergency repair will move us. Step away, Acolyte. You are of no concern to us. Alright, so back to what I was saying. So, um, Kia Jung is located downstairs, and basically these guys tell you that, uh, the only way that they would move is if the, the golem press, uh, malfunctioned. And they also tell you, oh, by the way, you can make it malfunction, essentially, if you pour the wrong amount of Phoenix oil. Well, you can get Phoenix oil from the merchant here. Alright, so now that we've got the... The oil, we can go in here and uh, essentially sabotage the, the golem press. Um, and if you want to, if you want to crush uh, Master Gong, you need to make your golem and you move it with uh, definitely move it first before or sorry definitely make it first is that so uh before you put the Why phoenix oil in because i believe once you acolyte. put the phoenix oil in think about, um, and you can't so make a new any new golems if you bring an order from master so keep in mind if you're if you're it, gonna go with the my master too. crushing gong with a, j then, a jade golem uh, you will need to have it already made and actually, I would recommend I moving it right away too. The I'm not sure the if it's the timing will work out. Uh, if you don't already, you know, have the golem station where it's at. Actually, you can see where it's at uh, uh, over the, the the assassin's shoulder right here. I will tend to the golems that are being ready for the Jade Golem's command. I do not think I will be able to return to this room today, but a thought occurs to me. If one opening raises us all, two openings will raise us further. If something were to befall the good master, just something you might want to ponder. Alright, so, uh, basically convinced the, the Lotus Assassin here to, to get out of the way. 
uh, in, a, in a sort of almost like a bid for power, I suppose. Well, uh, maybe that's not the right phrase. Um, but he really, like, as long as you tell him, hey, Double you know, this is, it's going to be beneficial to you if you're not here. Uh, and here, the, there's obviously a couple more quick ways to get a fight. So once you actually sabotage the, the machine, uh, <laughs> oh, and like I was saying earlier, though, the those, those two, the two like mechanics or wh however you want to call them, uh, upstairs, uh, they can. If you're going close fist, you can just straight up kill them, and um, obviously that will remove them from the hall. Uh, open palm, however. You need to sabotage the machine and then basically go back and tell them that, hey, something <laughs> something went wrong with it. I don't know what happened. It just started malfunctioning. Everything's going crazy. What do you want now, Acolyte? Unless the... What? Which one of you idiots threw off the mixture? Ugh, it doesn't matter. Three days calibrating it for perfect clay husks, and some new blood fool ruins it in an instant. The supports for the mold injectors will be charred. We'll have to find a smith to forge new ones. Ugh, what a mess. I don't need you to tell me that, Acolyte. I swear, I'm going to recommend that your kind never touch it again. So much wasted work. If we don't get it fixed, Geo will have us slaughtered. I know, I know. We need to go to the market district and find a smith. Come on, we're wasting time. Alright, so with that done, uh, the entire hall is cleared. And I am trying to think about what actually prompts this next scene. I think you do need to... No, I can't remember what actually. Maybe it's once everybody's cleared what? out of the hall, then you can come out here. What? Yes, Master Shin will be inspecting them when they arrive, but there is no sign of them yet. Perhaps they were delayed in the necropolis. May the will of not sure why I talked to the watcher again. He doesn't have anything new to say. I guess maybe I was that's what I was checking for. Some sort of update. But uh anyways. Um yeah, so I believe once you once you talk to everybody uh, and get them out of the the hall, that's when you can come out here and uh we'll basically we'll disrupt uh, some of the slaves coming in and I think I think that the reason why it happens like this is because uh, Shen or sh is it Shen? I forget the, the name of Gong's or Gang's superior um, he is going to be uh, he, he was going to the main hall to to uh, essentially to inspect the, the slaves that were coming and um yeah, so obviously we are going to disrupt said slaves, as well as the, the I think it's two Lotus Assassins with them. And uh, once again, you know, I've <laughs> said this quite a few times, but the outcome of this is very different if you're going close fist. It's you there, brutal. stand aside or risk the ire of the Lotus Assassins. These prisoners must be delivered to the fortress to be inspected by Master Shin. I will not allow you to make me late. And why is that? Keep your reason short, or you'll be dead before you're done. We will not allow you to keep these people. You are mad to test an assassin. I'll kill you where you stand. Double axes. 
Paralyzing call. Slave driver wrong. So um the uh the closed fist um, basically the way to get like the most money out of this is to straight up tell the assassins that uh basically get out of here. At which point uh, they will fight you and kill you. Um, and then <laughs> the slaves are like, "Oh, you're our new master." Are you taking us to the Lotus Assassins? Yeah. You can say, "I cannot what? allow you to Thank live," you. and then you can kill you so all much. of these slaves I knew too. Someone if you're going close to someone kind and honest. I'm glad we helped them. I feel good for a change. Thank you. <laughs> oh, so yeah, so um. The uh, the way that that all finishes with the the closest you end up slaughtering all of the slaves and I think you get experience as well as cash for killing all the slaves so you know if you're ah, it's 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 crappy that uh, even in this game be, being just a shitty person uh, really is uh, focus beneficial because you get a lot more money by being. Uh, I do. <laughs> Which is, uh, you know, I think it goes along well, really well, actually, with with the um, philosophical uh, or ideologies of closed fist versus open palm. You know, I just I think it makes sense. It makes sense that they did it that way. I don't know why. Oh, I may have been heading into town to take care of the the last um, uh, configuration that we got. Uh, I think now is actually a really good time to do it. I always, I always feel like the the earlier you you get those taken care of, the better. Um, just because you know, then you you get more out of them, I suppose. Uh, there's there really isn't much sense in hanging on to configurations for you know forever and I mean we were already kind of on the way out I mean you know technically yeah it's it's a little bit of backtracking and a little bit of extra like loading time uh, that you could we could have kind of avoided by just waiting um, a bit longer you know so really when it when it comes down to it uh, I don't know. There, there's a there's a pretty major fight coming up, uh, you know. Depending on the difficulty level that you're playing at, uh, you know. I, in all honesty, I don't. I don't remember other than the very beginning of the game when I was super rusty. I don't think I even got close to dying. So, you know, whether whether or not you think it's really that useful to to take care of this stuff right now is up to you. But um. Oh. Yeah, I just like to take care of it I guess right away. Is there something and here I was checking in with the different followers to see if they'd have anything to say. I don't think that, yeah, nobody's got anything to say. Yeah. Busy busy, no time for chatty chatty. Certainly. If Alright, so let's head back to the to the furnace here. And hopefully I've got the right fuel I should anyway. Uh, I don't remember if it's a uh, uh, what formation is this? Boy, now I can't remember if it was... Ti was it Tiger? Is that the one that we picked up? Oh, I guess we'll find out here in a second. But um, as far as the fuel, though, actually, I don't really remember what fuel this one took either. Again, we're going to find out momentarily. But uh, I guess <laughs> I guess make sure you have the right fuel before you come in here. <laughs> All right, so cow, cow bizor, bizor, bizor. I don't, I don't even know how to say that word. All right, so conductor, clapper chimney, whirling cogs, uh, maybe? No, yep, whirling cogs, and what else? Yeah, okay. dragon button. <laughs> 
What's looking I don't like? think we should spend our time in here chatting. Let's get what we need and get out. <laughs> what? Wow. I don't think we should spend our time in here chatting. Okay. I wonder if she only says that here. Oh, there you go. Configuration of the rabbit. Well, you are getting to be quite adept at manipulating this Okay, and that was the, was that the if Heaven's I Blessing gem? Now, I'd have made it a bit more obtuse, so people work harder for their supper. I'm beginning to <clears> think <throat> you have learned all of the secrets the furnace has to offer. What? Oh, I'm sure it's nothing. Kang, are you all right? Well, there's nothing like mortal danger to jog the memory. Anyone up for a flight to the edge of perception? The memories, they are seeping in. I see patterns, schematics, explosions, lots of explosions, and, and someone seeking rescue, Lord Lao. That's why the furnace is here, why the configurations are spread across the empire. When it was safe for his tools to be used, it would be safe for him to return. Lord Lao is imprisoned, locked away so his inventions could no longer challenge the works of the heavens. It's an insult to the inventor spirit. We must fly. How does anyone know anything? Reasoning and inspiration. And a direct assault by energies opposed to the use of the furnace. I suppose I should be dead, but it's not the first time. Perhaps I've grown resistant to such energetic assault and surprised my assailant with my resilience. Whatever the case, I have a vision of a new wind map. It goes nowhere and everywhere. We have to destroy the force holding Lord Lao in check. Yes, that would be ideal. Although we will quickly move back into a place like this. This route, I don't think it can be represented on flat paper. We should go now. I do not think the furnace will function again until this is resolved. Okay, <clears throat> so that was the final, I shouldn't say final, it's really not the final configuration, but um, um, you have to find all the ones that we've found before. Um, you get this kind of, if I'd say scene, or if you can, uh, or in order to trigger this. Oh yeah, to actually to trigger that that scene that we just saw there. So once you get, I think it's six. Uh, that's that's when you'll get your. Oh excuse me, that's when you'll get your. Wow, seventh or is it? You get five, and this will be. I don't know. I wasn't counting. My bad. I think it's six because I think you end up using two of each fuel. Yes, yes. Which what? would, you know, be six. And then the seventh fuel is uh, ready when you are obtained for this very here serious in, a, in a little bit. As dated as some of his concepts are, I look forward to meeting him. Perhaps I can suggest some improvements. Prepare yourself. This route is much stranger than any I have seen before. Clearly, we are not bound for a terrestrial location. Okay. So if this is the one I'm thinking of, I end up failing a bunch, so I'm probably going to end up cutting this right here. Alright, so I, I failed quite a few times. Um, I'd recommend using, I used Mirage, uh, in addition to Shrieking Fury, and... Oh, I have Cloud Burst on. Um, I, don't, I don't like Cloud Burst, and I haven't actually ended up using that. I don't think it. Nor do oh, I this is very strange. We're on the trail of something nasty. Um, again, there might be some applications for it that I maybe just didn't utilize, but I didn't like it. So anyways, I would strongly recommend using uh, that being said, there's still a chance that you will fail still. Um, and actually now that it's still, I can't remember if you get Mirage. What manner of beast Once you get Mirage, um, from Hindu's, uh, flying missions or not, so if you don't have, uh, his gun yet, I would recommend at least doing, I'm guessing it's at least at least one, because I know you get Mirage. This, uh, 
start seeing the And then it seems like it's random directions after that. So uh, that's pretty much it, though. Like I said, uh, you know, if you once you get the timing down, I feel like it's really, really easy. Um, and you know, if it, I'm sure there's other ways to beat it, uh, but that's how I did it. So I guess uh, take that, uh, take that for what it's worth. Take that advice however you want. I would ignore it. I mean, if I were you. I would do my own thing. No, I don't know. Uh, anyways, yeah, so we're going to head back in here and we'll have a little chat with, with Kang. Well, I'm not sure where we crossed from the living world to the celestial, but we seem to have made it back in one piece, and with startling revelations, too. Yes, we need to discuss what, um, what was discovered. Yes, well, it seems the entity holding the memories of Lord Lao is Vanquish. The great artificer was imprisoned for insulting heavenly works. Unjustly, I might add. He is free. He is uh, somewhat disoriented by the process. Oh, and there is perhaps something else you should be aware of. Um, he is me. Kane, what are you saying? I suppose I should have been more concerned with having no memories before the last few decades, or a century. Come to think of it, I guess I'm pretty old. There was always so much to do. It never seemed to matter where I was from. I'm not even sure what I did to earn this faith. I must have stepped a little above myself and angered the celestial bureaucracy. In the time before their wrath filtered down, I built the furnace to point back to myself. I don't think I'll give them cause. I like it here. So many things to build for so many small problems. All the interesting big-scale things are already built. And I have an interest in seeing your endeavor through to the end. For curiosity, you understand. And I could possibly improve the yield of the furnace. I brought two unspoiled gems from our flight to rescue, um, me in the void. The Eyes of the Void. Or the glare of the jerk that locked me up or something. Very volatile fuel. With my new understanding of the furnace, you now have a configuration unrivaled. But there is risk. Combined with this fuel, it may damage the furnace. So, continue using the furnace as it is, or risk its functions on the most powerful effect it can produce. Hmm. Well, if I built it, and I guess I did, I'd fix that restriction first. The rules of inspiration defy such logic. That is why a single flyer is greater than many, and duplicates devalue the whole. The furnace is what it is. I'll make something better, but adjusting this one will require monumental effort. It is not designed for adjustment. Certainly. 
It's just a flick of a switch, and I'm reasonably sure the trip isn't even doing any irreparable harm. Alright, so the revelation of a life I don't know. Um Kang is Lord Lao. Pretty cool. Um anyway, so we got uh you got you get your final two configurations. Now the key or the, the one thing that you have to remember though is uh even though he gives you two, you can only actually use one and then the machine automatically breaks. So uh that being said, I would do um, the rat. I would always pick the rat, or configuration of the rat. Unless, um, you know, you've completely gone away from, uh, um, martial styles, and all you've used, uh, are magic. Uh, and if that's the case, if you, if you're more magic oriented, then you could consider the configuration of the goat. Um, I believe the configuration of the goat is something like plus three to all your, your, your um, what is it, chi and health or what, I don't know. It's, it's plus three to like all of your, your main stats, but uh, I didn't, I, n I never used that one. Um, I always go with the configuration of the rat because it gives you 25% martial style damage, which is huge. Uh, and then especially because, you know, my that's what I used, and I have used the entire game, so. Uh, my character is definitely not magic oriented, so I, I did not. And, and that, that isn't to say that the configuration of the goat is only for magic users. Um, it's just that 25% martial style damage is huge. So if that's your major focus in the game, then I would, I would definitely go with that. I think that's uh, that's a lot more useful than uh, than the other configuration is going to be. So uh, again, that's that's my recommendation. That's what I'm going to end up using. Um, but you know, if you wanna, if you don't want to do that, then go ahead and do something else. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing here. I was screwing around with the buttons. I don't know if I was trying to get one of the random effects to work. Uh, I believe I mentioned that in one of the other videos. That uh, yeah, if you just pull levers and kind of screw around. Um, you'll get random effects like, uh, what is it? I know one of them, your follower turns into a monkey. Uh, another one of them, your char character changes, uh, to one of the other main characters for, for like a second or two. Uh, and it, like, if you're a, so if you're a male, it'll turn you into, in my case, it was Radiant Zenji. So I don't know if it, I don't know if it randomly selects one of the, you know, opposite gender heroes, or if it always goes with your, like, your polar opposite, because, uh, I believe Radiant Zenji is the, the speed-oriented character. A uh, most and intriguing then, um, place. you know, Furious Ming, or Furious, <laughs> Furious Mike in this case, you know, is the, is the speed character as well, so I don't know if it always switches between those two, I'm not sure, I guess, I don't know if it's really that important, but... Uh, a couple of the of of the other effects, though. Uh, I know one of them summons a demon or two. One of them, I think, uh, I don't remember if it was. It summons some rat demons. I think was one of them. I know I got some horse demons once, and then maybe a toad demon as well. Uh, so, anyways, long story short, you can get a little bit of extra experience out of this place, but it's really annoying, and uh, it's it's really not needed. Uh, but just keep in mind though uh, once we use this final configuration like I said earlier the the machine actually breaks um, So and, and once that happens this place is completely uh, you know, there's nothing else to do here Yeah, you know, so there's your three monkeys. It does literally does nothing um, But yeah, so once you, you know once you use that final configuration uh, it's gonna break and like I said, so you get two two fuels, you get two eyes of the void, and you get the configuration of the goat and the configuration of the rat. Unfortunately, you only get to use one, and then it breaks, and then there's nothing else you can do, and you're stuck with the other one uh, in your inventory, at least for a little bit. I think uh, I think maybe at a certain point, all of our inventory ends up getting wiped out anyway, so you know, I don't know if it really matters, but... Uh, yeah, so, I don't know, I'm... Ooh, what's this? I don't remember this guy. Tiger. Okay, so there's a bull demon even here. This thing should be... 
I think you only actually get to fight one of these in the, in the game. Experience, yeah, it's not really worth it. It's not really worth running around. I guess it's better than killing ghosts in the necropolis. Well, maybe not. Actually, it probably isn't now that I think about it because so many of these con uh, combinations you won't actually get anything. Like, you know, you'll get the three monkeys or your character will do the quick sex change. You know, so it, when it comes right down to it, it probably doesn't pan out as far as experience uh, and time invested, I suppose. Oh, well, you know, three monkeys again. Womp womp. Uh, so I think that I actually bought an extra... Yeah, I did. I bought an extra bar of nickeled iron from somewhere. Uh, I think you can get... Is it one from the blacksmith in town? I think that's one of them. And then you must get one from like, um, is it the backside of the tea house or something like that? And then maybe one from Hin, uh, is it Hindu? Is that the, the name of our merchant guy? Uh, anyways, or no, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, Hindu, I think is the, is the, um, uh, the mechanic. And I, yeah, actually, I think he's got the other one. So I think it's the mechanic, and then I think it's the blacksmith, and then I think you get one. It's gosh, I can't remember if that's the one out in the, the near the tea house, or if it's a quest reward. I don't remember. Anyways, uh, I actually I actually bought one extra, so I actually wasted a little bit of money there because you only ever need two. Oh, and here I was talking about. All this different stuff when I should have been focusing on what buttons I was pressing, so sorry about that. <coughs> Alright, you see here though all the, the levers are snapping off. And alright, so that's the, the strength of the bull, and like I said earlier, that's the um Yeah, it's but or broken. That is uh that's gonna raise our, our martial style style damage by twenty five percent. Yeah, so it just says damage increase, uh, but it says with the the power of the mighty bull behind you. Oh, and then I, okay, your martial attacks will inflict inflict more harm on opponents. And like I said, I be I believe it's about a twenty five percent increase, so that's pretty significant. A most intriguing place. Very well. Uh, the other cool thing about that is, um, you know, in my case, I've only got machine. Leaping Tiger for my, um, for my style, but, uh, you know, if, if you went through the game and, uh, you know, bought one of the other styles, Legendary Strike or Thousand Cuts or, you know, White, is it White Demon, uh, whatever, if you bought any of those, you know, and you, and you liked it better than your, than your base style, then that 25% damage will, will, uh, apply to those you know that those other styles as well so it's kind of you know again it's kind of nice if you ended up buying one and, and liking it more than you know whatever you initially picked at the beginning of the game but uh you know that being said you know somebody like me who uh pick pick leaping tiger right away at the beginning and i <laughs> there's no way i'd buy any other ones because i love that style um you know it, it's already given me the 25 percent so uh anyways Again, you know, uh, it, it's always useful. I, sh I didn't mean to try to make it sound like it's not useful, and especially, the, you know, it's not that it's more useful if you've decided to pick up another martial style, style later. It's just, it's a bonus across the board, and it doesn't, you know, it doesn't necessarily just affect one of your martial styles. So, again, really, really cool, really useful, and uh, again, I really prefer that one over the configuration of the goat. I just, I don't think that any amount of stat increases can can make up for the 25 percent bonus damage on on my martial style again unless unless i went with a, a magic you know base route and that's all i ever used i just uh, i just don't see not having that it's it's really good 
Um, but anyways, uh, we're gonna we're gonna actually just gonna make our way all the way back to the Lotus Assassin Fortress. So I'm gonna cut the commentary here. Uh, so like, comment, subscribe if you guys want to do. I uh, hope the guys are helpful though. Hope you're enjoying them, and uh, hope you keep uh, joining me for more. All right, thanks for watching.